everyone and welcome to my first pregnancy vlog opposed to TTC blog. Um, today I am, I think, four weeks, seven, six days, so I'll be five weeks tomorrow. Um, so, moving along well. Um, so I have a couple updates as far as what's been going on thus far with everything and so on and so forth. So I'm going to jump right into it and, um, yeah. So, um, it was Friday the 13th when I took my, uh, test that I made the video that you guys got to see. I still have the tests because I, um, don't want to get rid of them yet. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I don't know if I want to save it forever because it is a pee stick, but, um, I catch myself looking at it quite often. So, um, because it's kind of your only proof at this stage, really, because you haven't really sh started to show, um, as far as symptoms, I'll get into that later. That's a definite, um, yes, you're pregnant, but, um, I, I'm in love with this stick, <laughs> but I'm not obsessed. I can, I can put it down. I just don't, um, I have it, um, in my nightstand, and so I get to look at it. I look at it before I go to bed, and I look at it when I wake up in the morning, and it's just a reminder of the wonder going on inside my belly. So that's great. Um, as far as telling people, I couldn't hold it in. I we thought we'd want to wait to the 13 week mark just to say we're all in the clear. I couldn't wait to tell everybody. I haven't told everyone yet. Thus far, I told my sister-in-law first, and then I think the next to know was my um, second cousin just because she kind of figured it out. Um, I said a post on Facebook, my heart's beating out of my chest, but for once it's a good thing because people know that I have anxiety in my family. Um, so, and she just messaged me, you're pregnant, aren't you? And I said, yeah, but don't tell anybody. Um, and then I have also told the following day, so the Saturday we had a family birthday um, for Andrew's, I think, great uncle, or it somehow fits into there. We call him Uncle Leo, so I don't know exactly how the relation goes. Um, but uh, his 80th birthday party. Uh, for him and his twin brother, so we told Grandma and Grandpa on Andrew's side, and of course, Grandma was through the roof. She's been the one that's wanted a baby forever, and um, so now she has one from his sister that's due January 22nd, and my baby that we think is due August 22nd. So they're both going to be 22nd babies if they came right on their exact days, but chances of that working out, you know. Crazy! So, um, they know, and then I filled, um, my best friend in the day of, because she's going to Australia for seven and a half months, so she's going to blow past this whole thing. She comes back, I think, two weeks before I think I'm due, and, um, so she's going to miss all the fun pregnancy aspects, but we're going to Skype and make sure we stay in touch, because I've already asked her to be the godmother, because we have been best friends, literally best friends, since grade seven, and, um... She's been through thick and thin, and that's one person I can say has never stabbed me in the back. I've never heard, uh, gotten wind of anyone ever saying anything over oh, that uh, my friend said this or this. So, um, I love her to death. She's closer than blood to me. She's, um, my best friend. So, she got to know. She was happy, but sad that she's going away, but it's so exciting. And, um, and who else did I tell? Just a couple people, um, my, I told my sister, my stepsister, and told her not to tell my dad or my stepmom yet. I'm going to tell them on Christmas. And then I told my ex-brother-in-law because he's the father of my current niece. Um, and I told him that I'd still like him to be uncle, and he said he would be honored too, so that's great. Sorry if I'm blabbling, I'm just letting you know. I'm just making this for me as well so that I can remember. And then grandma, my grandma knows. So great grandma on my side knows. And besides my back, she was worried about my back, but besides that, she was thrilled, and she thinks it's going to be a little girl. According to the Chinese calendar, it's going to be a little boy, which is what Andrew and I were kind of hoping for, but healthy, happy baby, I don't care if they're a boy or a girl, if they're straight, if they're gay, they can be whoever they want as long as they're healthy and happy when they arrive. Um, so yes, that's who I've told thus far. I think everything else is going to wait till Christmas. Um, and then as far as telling, like, publicly announcing, like, on Facebook or something like that, maybe Christmas, maybe New Year's, maybe after the 13 weeks, we don't know. Um, so yes, I've had my first appointment with my doctor. As soon as I got that positive, it was a Friday afternoon, and I didn't call the office in time. By the time I said, oh crap, I should call my doctor's office, it was 5.30, they were closed. 
Um, so, <coughs> pardon me. Um, I got in on the Monday morning, and they took a pee test, and it was positive. So I was so worried. I said, what if mine, what if by chance both of mine are wrong? I don't want to go out and buy more. Spent enough money on pee sticks, so I've got to save up for a baby now. So they confirmed, yes, there was another positive pee stick. Um, just kind of went over a couple basic things with me. Um, because I am on medications for the pain in my back and for anxiety, he is referring me to a specialist. Um, I got really worried. I said, am I considered high risk or is my baby considered high risk? He said, no, 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 calm down. Um, it's just a precaution, but I am going to be seen by a specialist. Um, because my surgery was booked for January 2nd, it got moved to the 17th, however, um, I don't know if I feel comfortable going under anesthetic. Has anyone, if um, you're watching this, gone under the knife while pregnant? Let me know when and how and things like that. That would be awesome because it's freaking me out a little bit in my brain thinking of it. I really think I'm going to wait till after baby's born, but then I have to outweigh, do I want to miss that time with my baby while I'm healing, blah, blah, blah. So, um... I'm going to be seen by a specialist. That appointment will be made once my blood work comes back. I took, uh, I got my blood work done Wednesday, so they should get at the end of this week, so hopefully I'll get a phone call, um, hopefully by Friday, if not early next week. And then I have an ultrasound, dating ultrasound, on um, just January the 9th at 9.30, <laughs> if you care. Um, sorry I'm saying I'm a lot. I'm, I just... Uh, I want to make sure I get all the information out there because, like I said, I'm sharing this with you guys, but I also want to share this for me as well and have to remember. Uh, so we have our first ultrasound, dating ultrasound, January the 9th. And um, because uh, if you've been following my videos or anything, you know that I didn't get my cycle on November 15th like I should have. So we really don't know exactly how far along this baby was, though blood work at that time said I wasn't pregnant. But we don't know if my ovulation was off and I could be six weeks pregnant right now. Um, as far as that goes, I'll jump in with saying that. So that's as far as that goes with um, doctor's appointments and such. Um, symptoms. I am sick every morning, pretty much every afternoon, and once in the evening. So nausea has definitely kicked in. I do have tender, it's just my nipples, sorry if that's TMI, I don't have sore boobs all around, but I am a bigger chested girl to begin with, maybe that might play a factor, um, but my nipples are very tender, um, fatigue, definitely, I'm blessed enough with my back to be off work right now, um, in that sense, if I want to take a nap, I can take a nap in the afternoon, so that's been wonderful because I have definitely been feeling fatigued. Um, and as far as that goes, I have a headache, and it kind of pinpoints right, look, I got it right, normally I would point over here, because it's my camera, but, uh, it's on the left side of my, and it normally hits right above my eyebrow, and it kind of shoots up into my hairline, and that would be where I would normally feel that headache, um, so I'm kind of thinking I might be about six weeks, symptoms are different for every woman, but they say nausea, and the, the really strong symptoms don't start hitting until about six weeks, so, who knows, I... I have a gut feeling that I might be about six weeks, not um, five. So I guess I'd be closer to seven weeks now. Um, so yeah, that's really as far as my symptoms go. I've gained a pound on my chart, um, according to the doctor. So as far as that's uh, bloating, that could be it. I do feel bloated. I know I haven't gained weight, but you just I feel heavier. It's like, oh my goodness, I feel like I've gained ten pounds, even though I, I know I haven't. Like, I fit into all my clothes and things like that, but you, you just know that bloated feeling that you get before your period. It's just like, ugh, I just feel big. <laughs> and I feel big already, so Lord help us when I get bigger. Um, and the last little thing I want to do in this video is just show a couple of little things that I have. So I have my what to expect when you're expecting. I've been reading. I read it once through already, but now that I'm actually pregnant, I'm going to do it once over again. Um, so I've been reading that. I also have the what to expect the first year, but my sister-in-law is borrowing that currently. I bought this journal when we first started TTC because it was 50% off because the local bookstore was closing. So it's a journal that you get to write down. Sorry if you get to see my big double chin there. Um, but it's just got pages where you can... Write stuff down and la la la. Just a baby, my first year journal. Um, well, there's a little bit of tracking in that for while you're pregnant. And then I have this from P 
to pumpkin, and that's where I get to write, sorry, my back's hurting if I'm starting to sway, um, and that's where, uh, I get to write down, sorry guys, my, the lighting, but my back's starting to twinge, um, so that's where I can write down from pregnancy, it starts at week six, all the way to week 40, so, um, I'll be tracking that, starting, and that will be amazing, and then I had to buy a baby item, I just couldn't help it, and they were two dollars at the dollar store, I love mummy, and then underneath, I love daddy, I couldn't help myself, so that was the first thing we bought. Um, I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter than probably expected, but I'm in a lot of pain all of a sudden. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will update you soon um, with some more information. I hope everyone has a very happy holiday, um, whatever it is that you're celebrating, um, and thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care.